Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house. Back at you to do Saturday Soup, a read for the collective. So listen, collective, whoever you are and wherever you are on this planet, shout out to you. We see you, we acknowledge the fact that you've taken the valuable time out of your day to join us, and we appreciate you. Whether or not anybody else has told you this today, Delilah, Tiberius, and I love you. It's solid, it's unconditional, it is a fact. If you're going to claim this reading, it's only from your higher self and for your higher good around here. If it doesn't fit, don't force it. Sharing is caring. If you need to contact me for any reason at all, that information is in the box below. And lastly, could you please hit the like and subscribe and ring that bell? It is fun. It's entertainment purposes only. It doesn't cost you anything. And it will make you feel good. Because it's positive energy that you are sending out into the universe that has no choice but to reverberate right back to you. In the meantime, we are sending you health, wealth, love, abundance, and prosperity in every friggin' form possible to infinity and beyond. All right, let's hit this. Clearing ground. Thank you. As above, so below, there is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of our collective for Saturday's soup. Collective, we're working with energy. It's fluid. I could be speaking about you or somebody in your energetic field, and anybody could be resonating in any one of their planetary placements at any time. Show me the energy. Let's see who and how we're going to help somebody here today, yeah? Yeah, here we go. Show me what's going on in the soup today. Please and thank you, spirit. Oh, boy. Okay. So, we have the Empress in Reverse. Let's see. The cards are all in the upright. See that? This is Taurus energy for somebody needy, clingy, somebody insecure, somebody who lacks self-confidence, lacks growth, um, very negligent. They're not very prosperous. They're a hot mess. You have the Tower in Reverse. This person is trying to avoid some kind of Inevitable situation. It's the tower in reverse. It's resisting change, averting disaster, avoiding tragedy, and trying to delay the inevitable. You have Taurus and Scorpio energy here. Show me what else is going on. Okay, now we also have two of cups. So some kind of a emotional awakening, some kind of a new uh, connection. It's a two of cups. It talks about a joining of forces, a bond, a partnership, mutual reciprocated feelings for each other. Show me. You have a three of cups at the foundation of the situation. Family, friends, partnerships, celebration, social events, community, gathering, going out and having some fun. What's the, um, what's crowning this person? What's crowning this person? Somebody likes to go out drinking and hang out with the boys. Somebody lives in a tall skyscraper. See, like a very tall skyscraper. Oh my God. All right, let me see. Show me what's crowning, please. What's crowning? Please, ancestors. Thank you. We have it right here. Okay. There's a page of pentacles. Some kind of new opportunity. Uh, maybe a new beginning at something. It could be finances. It could be something you manifested. It's a page of pentacles. Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus energy. This could be a younger person. It could be a child. But it's a very goal-oriented, diligent, reliable energy. Somebody's going to put the work in. It's a, it's a solid beginning. Show me. Okay. You have... The Five of Swords in reverse. Somebody wants to come out of a time of conflict and perhaps reconcile. There's regret. There's, there's could be some kind of past revet, uh, resentments, but they you know, basically want to stop with the aggravating, the fighting, the stress, the, the hostilities. There's an Ace of Swords in reverse. You could have some miscommunication with the Ace of Swords in reverse. It's clouded judgment because of that. There could be some confusion or hostility because of some kind of miscommunication. You have a Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus energy possibly very highly Taurus, somebody that's broke, you know, unstable, unreliable, they don't have any goals, they don't have any routine, it's either lazy, this is a self-absorbed, um, envious person, this is a selfish person, this is someone who's, you know, lazy, they want you to do all the work, show me, show me, now, you do have temperance, tempering your emotions, Sagittarius energy for an inner calm and inner peace and inner tranquility, okay? Somebody might be going to church and praying a lot. There's Archangel Michael. Somebody might be praying might be praying to have a baby. So the situation here is you got somebody who's unstable, very clingy, unreliable, lacks self-confidence, trying to avoid some kind of inevitable 
situation, a tower, okay? Whatever that's going to be, it's going to be different for everybody. You and this person, you know, you might have been out partying and having a good time and you met each other and you felt the same way about each other. It was mutually reciprocal. There could have been a new beginning here, right? This is crowding you or about to be or past already, wherever you are in the timeline, if you're even resonating, no force fitting. Here we go. Now we got the five. You might have, whatever happened, there's some kind of level of coming out of a time of hostility, all right? Maybe reconciling, but no more stress, no more arguing. There is still miscommunication that's causing clouded judgment that's causing hostility. So even though somebody wants to come out of the hostility, I think that they, you know, you're not communicating very well. Plus this person here in the center of the spread here with earth in their chart is lazy, irresponsible, and doesn't want to put any work in. They're probably broke. They, you know, they're greedy. They're selfish. They're yeah, something like this. And here we go. We have somebody's trying to temper their emotions against all this. Somebody's trying to not lose their, uh, you know, temper here or their calm or their balance. So now we have Sagittarius energy. We have Scorpio. Told you Taurus. Here you go. So now we got a four swords. Somebody's exhausted. Somebody is so tired of trying to, you know, deal with this energy or not argue and keep, you know, some kind of inner calm about themselves that they're exhausted. They need to heal. They need to rest. They need to recuperate. They need to contemplate their next steps forward. Somebody feels like they're under some kind of, like, I don't know, they're under the gun or something here. Like, they're very stressed out, and they really need to try to calm down. They're trying here, that you know, but it's, I feel like, because of this energy that they're dealing with that's not putting any work into anything. Here, now you got the Ten of Cups. There is some kind of emotional contentment. I don't know how this is happening with this, but it is. And some kind of, um, oh, okay, I see what's happening here. Somebody's coming in to tell you something, all right? You got a knight of swords here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, unless you're this person rushing out to very clearly articulate something about it. your feelings, the, you know, maybe you're angry about some things. There's something going on here. This person looks pissed as shit. They're coming in. It looks like they want to yell at somebody or something. Maybe they know some kind of truth. They do, you do, the, oh, the truth is there's love here. <laughs> there's some kind of love here, Okay. Somebody wants to fight for it, I believe. There's a Ten of Cups, emotional fulfillment, domestic harmony, contentment, children, happiness. You know, an alignment. And there's a Four of Wands. There's a two cards of stability, marriage, family, community. I think, like, I'm hearing somebody's coming in to straighten, somebody's coming to straighten somebody out. Somebody's, oh, well, that's not a good thing in Brooklyn. So I'm going to straighten that person out. See, when you say that, or like, somebody's coming to straighten you out, it's like, oh my God. You know what I mean? So... Yeah, somebody's going to straighten somebody out over here. <laughs> so, oh, wow. All right, well, and I think it has to straighten them out about love and family and, you know. Yeah. That this is love, you know. I don't know. Maybe somebody's going to tell somebody they got to put the work and effort in over here and stop the bullshit, right? Stop being lazy. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. That's why somebody's angry. They're going to come in and tell this person, look at this. To get off their lazy ass and put some work and effort into everything. Not just anything. Everything and anything. How about it? Because there could be happiness and love and there could be a lot to be happy. Like to be grateful. There's a lot to be grateful here for. But this person, you know, has got to get on the ball. This is what? Seeing a cornucopia. Yeah. Somebody could shoplift. Somebody might like to shoplift. Maybe for food. Maybe they're hungry, this person. I feel bad for them. Um, like I said, somebody could be praying that somebody could, somebody could be very religious. Somebody could go to church. We could say the rosary. You got the hermit, Virgo energy. Somebody could be doing a dark night of the soul. Somebody needs to do some soul searching here. See, this is what I'm telling you. Okay. Somebody's going to come in and tell somebody to get their shit together. <laughs> I'm telling you, do some soul searching and think about it. You could be dealing with a Virgo, queen of pentacles or a Taurus, but here it is, you know, uh, do some soul searching, some self-evaluation, ascend spiritually. Do some introspection and figure your shit out, okay? But yeah, so let's come and straighten somebody out. I keep hearing that. Oh, shit. That's not me. Here you go. We got one that fell on the floor. Hold on. Oh, shit. And it is the Queen of Swords. Yeah, see? So very clearly articulate yourself. Use your head over your heart. You know, be fair. Be balanced. Have some kind of higher perspective like the, King, the Queen of Swords would. It's an independent, objective, constructive energy, Okay. Somebody might like to do some gardening here. Somebody could be baking. 
Somebody likes to study geography or watch like Nat Geo on TV here or Ancient Aliens or some shit like that. Yeah, see what I'm saying? It's the lovers. Somebody's got their head up their ass and they need, you know, somebody's coming to kick it out. They really are. This is real love. They have, there's a lot to be grateful here. Somebody's just got to put in some fucking effort. I'm whoops, I'm sorry. But they don't. Like, this is what the thing is. And somebody's coming to tell somebody that. Go do some soul searching and figure your shit out before you blow this opportunity of a lifetime. Use your head over your heart here and be smart. This is the lovers. We're a soulmate union. Okay? We're kindred spirits. We're the same. A decision has to be made here. Somebody needs to make this decision to do the right thing. Or they're going to miss, you know, they really need to follow their, their heart here. But, like, do a clear thinking. Like, you know what I mean? Like, use your head. I don't feel like this is use your head over your heart so much. I feel it's more like use your freaking head. Think about what you're doing here. Think about what's in your in your soul. Gemini energy now. But Gemini, you got Virgo. I told you, Aries. Scorpio. Tell me. Sagittarius. Give me two more and let's close it, please. Two more. All right. Let's see. So now we have the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups, this one does not feel like somebody's walking away. This looks like some kind of happiness or somebody might be walking away. Somebody might do some soul searching. And in this instance, oh, somebody here, you know, they're collecting bodies. I, I, and I don't mean like they're burying them. I mean like somebody here is just not um, phased. So there's, they're walking away. They could be walking away from love, happiness, marriage. Oh, my God. What's going on here? Who is this? Who is this crazy person? You know how hard it is to find true love? A soulmate? Happiness? Stability? Show me. Here we go. Now, you do have too many of them, but it's the King of Swords to the Queen. The, oh, God. The, no, we're not taking those. Give me um, could be a third-party situation here going on. Maybe somebody's going to go follow that. Somebody might got somebody pregnant outside of the relationship somewhere. Ah, Now they're losing. Oh, I'm here losing my religion. Somebody's losing their religion. What is that? REM? Somebody might like REM. Somebody feels like they're losing their religion over this. What is going on here? I don't know. I won't feel connected to this, but somebody's got some shit, and somebody's coming in to straighten somebody out. Really? We'll get the truth. Somebody here is maybe going to do some soul searching and use their head over their heart, and, and they don't really get attached emotionally. This person could have a long string of past relationships, dead, you know, dead-ass relationships. So now they're moving on to the next one, right? Instead of, oh, spirit and ancestors. That's terrible. Instead of going with the love, this person might decide to move on to the next. This person's afraid of commitment and love, real love. Somebody's angry about it. Yeah. You got the high priestess, Pisces energy, for the all-knowing, keeper of the collector unconscious. Somebody might be keeping this a secret. Somebody might be moving on to their lover, to their soulmate, and keeping it a secret. You, you know, look at this. I told you there's a whole lineup, right, to the next one. Yeah, you got Pisces energy now. So now you got a painful ending, right? What am I telling you? Because somebody did a betrayal, Seven of Swords. See, this is what? It, it, there's a love relationship here. So, oh, somebody might have been out partying with their friends, okay? And they met somebody. They felt the same. They started something new. You could have somebody here that's involved that, you know, that doesn't know about this, like a wife, family here. Somebody could be secretly moving away. They're going to end something, whether it's with the person that they, you know, got on the side or, or at home. There's a betrayal, a lie, a deception here. Somebody needs to balance themselves out. There's some kind of denial. Somebody's trapped in a situation here. This, this could be with somebody from their past. Maybe they bumped into somebody from their past. They need to end something. It's a death. It's a transformation and a rebirth. Yeah, because it's a three of swords. What am I telling you? There's some kind of heartbreak here. A third party situation. Somebody might get pregnant. Somebody might get somebody pregnant outside of this, uh, yeah, relationship. And they could be keeping that a secret. That's terrible. All right? I don't never understand this. Nobody's intention to anybody here that they have to be with somebody. Like, that's just selfish. Just leave the person that you don't want to be with and go on. Somebody wants to go live the RV life. Yeah. Somebody's going to be vindicated in a situation here. I don't know what it is. It's going to be different for everybody. Yeah. Somebody's got poor hygiene. It's time to get a bar of soap, a bottle of shampoo, a towel, and go take a freaking bath and wash it, wash yourself. <laughs> Here you go. Somebody's heartbroken. What am I telling you? There's a three of swords heartbroken. 
I'm going to take the blue cheese. Here we go. Somebody here is um, for the streets. So that says everything right there, right? Let's get a green one. Hold on. Hold on. These are a mess. Let's do this one. I don't see it. Here, this is somebody's got a backstabbing mother. Somebody, Lao. So Lao Tzu. Somebody could be, yeah, Shih Tzu. Somebody's got a Shih Tzu. So somebody could be in China or Japan or something like this. Um, somebody's over consuming energy drinks, maybe because they're heartbroken and they're feeling listless, like they have no energy because they're for this. Somebody was for the streets. Maybe they have, because they're heartbroken. Now they have poor hygiene, right? Somebody might be having car trouble. If that's your RV life, please be careful. Make sure that you're all, you know, ready to roll. <laughs> you're ready to roll. Somebody's a social media influencer. I, did I tell you an unexpected pregnancy? Pow! That's my superpower, okay? Let's screw it around here. I know, this, somebody's got somebody, somebody was getting late. They were out partying with their friends and they made me knock somebody up. They got some kind of, you know, it was a, it could have been just a quick hookup. Like now they got issues. Cause you know, maybe this person has a family. I don't know what's going on. Somebody had some kind of ulterior motives. And last but not least, now it could be, you know, it could be some legal issues involved in this. At the bottom of this deck, you have blue cheese. I tried to get away from it, but it came back. Somebody likes it. Somebody hates it. Somebody smells like it. That's the person. <laughs> That's the person that has poor hygiene. The person that smells like freaking blue cheese. Go wash your crotch, would you? We love you. Always remember. Leave. Oh, you know what? I didn't give you lettuce. Jesus, God up in heaven. Hell is empty while the devils are here. Smelling like blue cheese. Cheating on people and over-consuming energy drinks. You have, I'm hearing Nancy. I'm, oh, Shane. All right, what do we have here? Yeah, what did I tell you, Shane? Did I tell you, Shane, before I turned those letters over? Isn't that crazy? It's so crazy. Okay, so here you go. S-H-N, you got an E, two O's, two A's, and an I. We love you. The candle blew out. Always remember, leave a logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy and trust in God because karma is real. Till next time, love and light.